But Mike Gesicki, I truly believe, this may sound crazy, I truly believe he can be a game changer for the Cincinnati Bengals. I think by the end of the season, we will be talking about him having many game-changing plays, being one of the, not the volume receivers, but in the big-time moments, you know, breaking a play open, having a big-time play. I think Mike Gesicki will be one of the Bengals' best free agent signings of the past three to five years, personally. Yes, yes. I've been high on Mike Gesicki for quite some time because of his receiving threat. And because of how he was mismanaged in Miami, I remember when Ryan Tannehill was his quarterback and just seeing the 700 yard seasons he put up and Ryan Tannehill is Ryan Tannehill, but at least he gave him the ball. At least he gave him opportunities. And I think Bengals fans are going to fall in love with Mike Gesicki fast. I think you're going to see a lot of uh, Gesicki jerseys inside of Paycor Stadium. I think Mike Gesicki is the best tight end that Joe Burrow has had. This is not a Hayden Hurst type of move. This is not a uh, CJ Uzama uh, type deal. This is a guy that I truly has no, let's, let's just talk about his, his his catch radius. This is absolutely insane. I can't wait to do a, a video breakdown on him because we were literally hyping this guy up, and that's pretty much what I'm going to probably spend my night doing is a video breakdown on him. But mm -hmm. we hyping this guy up, man, because of how special we believe he can truly be. So, yeah, man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. I think it makes a lot of sense, man. And, uh, you know, for the, all those wondering, okay, who's going to replace Tyler Boyd? Well, Tyler Boyd is, uh, you know, he was a guy that was a traditional wide receiver, and I still expect Charlie Jones, Yoshi Voss to get time there, but I really do expect Charlie Jones to really step into that slot receiver role. But Mike Gesicki, imagine him in the red zone. One of the Bengals' biggest issues, man, um, was, you know, being able to punch the ball. in. Sometimes he just kind of – the offense sometimes went flat inside uh, the red zone. And um, I think that now that you have a guy like Mike Gesicki that who you can just throw up fade balls to, that's what having a truly – game changing tight end can do. And I think people I don't know if you guys seen a lot of Miami Dolphins games. I don't know if you guys watched a lot of Penn State games, but Mike Gesicki is truly a game changer, man. And this is a guy that can this is gonna make defenses really have to um work. You know? It's gonna have to make defenses really, really have to work and, and figure them out. But I think he's gonna make the, all the world of difference for Jamar Chase. I would say T. Higgins, but you know, that situation is what it is. So it does make sense to do a one year deal. You got to realize in Mike Gesicki's situation, he's been mismanaged so many times he was mismanaged his last year in Miami he was mismanaged with the Patriots promised things and barely utilized. I get you have Hunter Henry there, but he, he signed there with the thought process that he'd be more of a focal point in the offense games where he just didn't play. But every single time they went to him, he made a big spectacular catch for them. He showed up. So signing a one year deal, hoping to cash in because and cash, it could be whatever, right? But just you want to make sure the fit makes sense first for you. And I'm sure if it works in Cincinnati, he'd want to stay in Cincinnati.